Right, good morning and welcome back to another episode of Enshrouded. So I'm going to carry on where I left off last time. I have uh, summoned Patsy. And he has joined us in the new luxurious town. He's been admiring his build and he's loving that. I'm going to start putting uh, his bits together. Uh, put the windows in, the doors, etc. And then I'm going to start on a carpenter's build and I'm thinking maybe to put it here I'm going to put it just a little bit further back than the alchemist house so I kind of come in off so let's say sort of about here I'll start I have to remove those two trees I think and we'll stick it in there somewhere so yeah that's the plan for today hopefully we can get a significant part of that done I'm going to try to show a little bit more of the building. I noticed on the last couple of videos that uh, it's more of a here's what we prepared earlier and less of the uh, techniques involved. So I want to try and um, help you guys with your builds, maybe some ideas and hopefully you do a little bit of a tutorial. I'm not pro at this though. I am still learning. So we're going to go from there. Right, let's get cracking with putting some windows and doors in here then and see where we go. So... I've put, um, I've built all of the doors and windows just so that I can start having a look at putting them in. I think we're going to go with the iron ones again on here, just because I like the way they looked on the, um, the alchemist's build. So we're going to go, we'll get the front done first. Yeah, they look good. I have got these wooden ones as well that I built just to have a look. But um, I'm not sure if I'll bother using those. I've got a couple of different doors as well. I think they look alright. They match that one anyway. So yeah, let's go and put the uh, the upstairs in. I want to do the front first because that's what you can see. And I don't actually have enough mats for all of the windows. So I'm going to have to go farm those at some point. Uh, how many windows have I got left? I've got two windows left. That's all of the front done. Maybe I'll do the back then. One either side. Cool. I've also put these ones in at the top already. Had to mess around quite a bit with those, so... Um, yeah, right, I've got a ladder for this place. Let's put that in. Um, is, is that on it? Where do we want that? Sort of in the middle here, maybe? That'll do, wouldn't it? Let's just make sure you can climb up that. You don't fall off. Or, oh, no, it can't, can't climb up it, so it's not going there then. We will move that along. Uh, so it's going to have to go there then. Let's hopefully I'll climb up that now. That's better. Cool. Uh, let's put this window in. Love that, that's going to be a little sleeping area. I need to put a bed in somewhere. I think I might put it along here. Along where the window is, at the side of the bed, side of the window. Just like that. Yeah, that'll do. That looks alright. Does that look alright? It's glitching into the wall a little bit. I think it looks alright there. We'll leave that. Uh, I might put the kiln in the fireplace, you know. Maybe just in there. If I can make that work somehow. Like that, maybe. That looks alright. I'll leave that up. Yeah, that looks fine. I like that. Now then, where are we going to put his tools? Um... Maybe at the side here, or here, or at the back, front, maybe there. That looks pretty cool. Uh, now this monstrosity, where are we going to put it in the wrong thing? Where are we going to put this monstrosity? Um... Maybe an angle, like there. Look at the side. Hmm. I 
know about this, you know. Maybe I'll build a wall across the side there. Or at the back. Actually, let's see what it looks like in the middle there. Oh, well, that would do. Yeah, it looks alright, I think. I'll get an angle. Yeah, I think that looks alright. Right, he hasn't got anything else, has he? Oh, fireplace. Let's put fireplace in his house somewhere. Uh, not really sure where. Oh, well. I'm going to go in his fireplace, though. Should we put it on the ground floor here? Actually, that would work quite well, because I can cover up that kiln that's coming through. Um, Like that, maybe? Make sure that doesn't glitch through. I think it's got a flat back, hasn't it? So it should be okay. Nice. What else have I got? What have we got? We've got a, a light. Where's it going to get dark? So we've got a couple of candles down here and a fireplace. It shouldn't get too dark down here. What have we got up here? Just the one candle there. Maybe put this here. Maybe on the window there? I think it might look better there. It's kind of like a decoration on that. A window. Yeah, we'll put that there for now. A couple of candles I could put. Actually, I could put the candles on the bay window. If I put one each side, yeah, let's get rid of that. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. All right. So I've got a spare light for somebody. Maybe the shop. Oh, let's go and put the front door on. Now, I think that this is going to be the better option. Nice, like that. That is looking real nice now at the front there. Not keen on those wood bits sticking out of the uh, the roof there, but um, I can't really think of any way of getting rid of that without having the roof overhanging, and I really didn't want it overhanging at the front or putting a second level of roof on. I feel like they need to fix that in the patch if they, when they patch it. Right, let's have a look at this shop. So we've got the wooden door. Try have a game, put in the wrong bar. There we go. Uh, which way do we want that opening? We want that opening in the other way, don't we? So like that. Lovely. And then I've got some... Got one of these windows for the side here. Cool. Um... I wish there were signs or something that I could kind of put up, like there. Now then, what are we going to do with these windows? Um, I was thinking along the lines of... Oh. They're actually too small. size of these I could do round top and bottom let's have a look no I don't like that damn it um what about on top of the top of the other windows? That looks alright. I'm gonna do that. What about the other way around? Let's have a look at the other way around. So I'll have the round ones on the bottom. And the squared ones on the top. Oh, hello. Not in the middle though. Nope. Prefer it the other way. Oh, crap. 
the window, will you, you dipshit? Right. <laughs> there we go. Nice. So that's the shop front. Hello, sir. Do you have any, um, iron bars? Oh, that will do. Alright, well, how many more windows am I going to need? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ouch. Twelve of those iron windows. That's going to be quite a few, quite a bit of maps there. What else have we got? What's this? I might put this over here, you know, on the corner like a street lamp. wonder if that will work. Let's have a look what that looks like from over here. That is looking nice, you know. I really like that. Love that. Awesome. That's pretty much finished. I need to furnish that then, get a few rugs in there, some chairs and tables and stuff, and get the rest of those windows on. I think I'm going to leave that for now because I don't fancy going farming for mats just now. So I am going to start building the carpenter's workshop. Right, so this is the plot that I've got put to one side for the carpenter's build. I've got an idea in my head of what I want to do. I'm thinking maybe over this side, sort of starting here, I want kind of a big workshop area with a double door that opens into it and then you can see his tools and stuff in there. So it'll be quite nice and open for him with all the sawdust and stuff. And then coming off the side of that, I want like a front kind of open shop, much like the blacksmith's one. Um, with, I guess, an entrance sort of here that you could come into. And then I want a separate living quarters again, uh, two-story, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and try and lay the foundations for that. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to go with a fired brick base, you know, on this one, uh, and then have the walls along the bottom different um let me go grab these rough stone blocks just because i like using those as kind of like the foundation where are my rough stone blocks well i don't have any there they are so easy to um misplace stuff on this i've got so many different blocks now i've got every block bar one which is the the um ectoplasm ones don't have those yet, because I haven't done the hollow hall for those. Right, where do we want this to start? I think we want it to start just slightly back from the alchemists. So maybe here. And I don't want it too close either. I feel like that's a good distance between the two of them. Maybe a little bit more. Right, this workshop I want three back along right so that will be the workshop if we imagine the door in the middle there yeah okay and then I'm gonna have the shop just set back slightly so it would be two um, no, don't want it that wide. So that will be the shop. I'll have maybe a door at the back here that goes into the workshop. Yeah, behind the counter. Okay. And then the living quarters, I think we will do just out again. And then along here. Is that big enough? I think that might be big enough. It's 
kind of like an H shape, isn't it? Almost. Well, it pretty much is an H shape. Or an I, depending on which angle you're looking at it from. Perspective. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start working on that then. So, first of all, I want to remove that because I don't want the door to be that material at all. And then what I'm thinking is this brick all the way around the edge. Um, just on like a real lower level. I think this is going to take me quite some time. I'm going to put this all the way around the outside just to see what it looks like for a start. So that is the finishing touches on that trim, just all the way around, just change the edge. I think that's going to give it a slightly different, well, it's definitely going to give it a different look to the rest of them. What I am going to do, though, is I'm going to put a, like a pathway around this with the, uh, the rough stone block. Um, I need to unsnap that because I want it slightly lower, so... We want it adjacent to it, but one block down. So is that, yeah, it's like that. And then we'll put snapping back on. I've done this on um, the jail cell as well. I just put it just around it. Um, oh God, oh, that's lucky. Oh, no, that's not ideal at all. Um remove that it's not ideal at all that pathway is higher than that one so I'm going to need that to go one more look down damn oh. so hard to place these damn blocks sometimes there we go um Maybe I'll just have that as a stair. It's not ideal at all. I really don't want to replace all of those other blocks. I feel like I'm going to have to. And that is going to take quite some time. Right, I changed my mind. I'm not lowering it down. I'm keeping it like that. And what I've done is um, I've just brought it up this side because it's actually level the pathway with this bit here so I'm just gonna have like a step that comes up over here somewhere so this also is the same height as this here it's only because the workshop there is lower so it goes down a hill a little bit so I think what I'll do is I'll join these up um, and have a stair there just that simple really um, yeah, that saves me a lot of work. I didn't really want to have to go around and change all of that. Um, seemed a little bit excessive as well. <laughs> a little bit obsessive compulsive. Um, so what I want to do now is... Is just raise this a little bit. Might even go in one, you know. Just have it like that. Just have that little trim around the outside let's just see what this looks like it might make the shop too thin i'm not sure how this is going to look with the uh, the tudor style on the top so this may this may all come back down but i just want to check it out first see what it looks like What's going on there? Why is that not coming all the way to the edge? That's weird. To there. That's better. Because I placed it wrong. Oh, that's some bright light on that red brick. Right, let's just see what this looks like with the Tudor style on the top. Is this going to look stupid? I think it might look bad, you know. I hope not. Mm. 
Let's check from the other side because that sun's not helping. Uh, that doesn't look too bad, you know. It looks different along the bottom. Hmm. Right, I think I've finally made my mind up. I'm going to stick with the stone. The uh, roughly cut stone block and the half timbered block. But I am going to keep that trim around the bottom. So I think it makes it look a bit different. Um, yeah, I just didn't think it looked right with the with the red brick. Something about it just wasn't wasn't pleasing to my eye. Now what I'm going to do here is just bring this up to the same level as that, then put this side on. And then chip that corner off because it's too thick. Yeah, then that's about as high as we'll do this as well. And then I want the roof kind of slanting up. I uh, may do these roofs different angles. So if that comes up that way, and then the shop will come up that way. Okay, so that workshop area is done then. Um, that's what it looks like all the way around. I think I'm going to put a couple of windows on the back there. Maybe just high windows. I think maybe... Uh, just a couple of small ones like that, maybe? Maybe all the way along. Actually, yeah, maybe all the way along, and then I could put the little square windows in there. But like four in a row. Um, yeah, I think that's probably all I'll put on there. I would imagine I'm just going to open those and leave them open. Beauty there for decoration, really. I'm going to change the floor to wood as well, so I'm going to have to strip off that whole top level. And then replace that with wood. Okay, that is finished. Flooring's done. That took uh, quite a while to run out of wood halfway through. So I had to go farm some trees and make some more refined wood. But pretty happy with that. That looks pretty good. I like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and make the shop part. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. I really want to do it similar to what I've done over here. Hmm. Yeah, maybe a slightly more open counter and then a smaller window on the side. Um, I think I'm going to do stone at the bottom and then wood at the top. Although, may change that very quickly. My, may, my mind may change very quickly. Uh, let's go one there. And then we're going to have one there, aren't we? So, two, two. That's nice. There's a gap in the middle. That door is going to be wonky. Um, now, I'll, maybe I'll do the door just off the center then. I'll do the door here, maybe. Um, do the door there. Alright, so a slight change of plan then. I'm not going to do a counter anymore. I'm going to do windows along the front. So I've just chipped them out. I think I'll do it. So, so that's going to be one window. Two windows, three windows, four windows. So I think I'll just do all the way along. Actually, what I might do is that there and then keep that slightly thick because of the doorway. Hmm, maybe not. This is what I'm constantly doing, constantly chopping and changing. I think that's going to be all right. Um, might even do all windows all the way across there, but uh, let's get this up on 
that. So we can come across the top. Now, am I going to do that? Am I going to do four windows? I think that probably looks all right, you know. I think we might get away with that. Let's put the thing across the top just to finish it off. See what it looks like. But I think we might get away with it. I think we might get away with it. Yeah, I think we might get away with that, you know? I'm going to keep that. Um, and we'll see what it looks like when it's finished. Let's just get the back on then. Oh, it's actually snapping in the right place. <laughs> or change. Oh, no, he spoke too soon. Oh, no, wait. Yep. Okay, there we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Take that off. <laughs> oh, dear. The snapping definitely needs some work on this game. Um... Put the back wall on. Nope. One more. Now, did I put that through the wall? No, I didn't. Cool. How's that looking? How is that looking? Not too bad, you know. Not too bad at all. It definitely looks different. I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. I might just um, see what the roof looks like. I'm going to angle that one back. So that will be like that. May even go one up. It's not overhanging quite as much. Let's get the wall in. Because this looks silly over here. Um so that's gone one too high, hasn't it? Needs to be the half timbered block. Oh, hello. Still placing things in the wrong place. Constantly. Uh, that's right, isn't it? Yep. He's coming down. What's that looking like? That looks pretty good, you know. Is that too high? Yeah, it's still too high. What am I doing? Put the wrong blocks in. Getting carried away. It's because I can see it falling into shape and I'm trying to... Trying to rush it. Because I re Oh, hello. That's wrong. So they need changing as well. Yeah, okay. So that will be right now. Yeah, that's level all the way around now, isn't it? Okay, cool. It's starting to fall into shape, guys. I'm liking that. I'm going to change this flooring into wood all the way through here. Um, should have just laid that foundation of wood straight away. Never mind. And then I think I'm going to go the opposite way with the roof on this side bit here. And then try and merge it in. Okay, so I fixed the roof, I fixed the wall, I've just taken it back a little bit there, as you can see, it's just like another half block, I've started removing the floor, uh, but that ceiling, that um, the roof was an absolute nightmare to line up, but uh, I've fixed it now, so I'm happy with that, and then I'm just going to go ahead and put the, the pathway on the outside again, um, and then work on that floor on the inside, let's just do this pathway quickly, because that's going to need to come across there now, isn't it? Like that. Or will I go like that? In fact, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the trim straight on the edge there. 
Yeah, just come all the way around. Gonna have to chop that tree down though, because this is what's, what I'm saying about these hitboxes with these trees. You can't, um... Can't go through them, so I'll have to chop it down. It's a shame. Poor tree. Let's get that trim on there. Right, we're back on course. We are back on course. Now I'm worried, though, about the living quarters. That doesn't look too thin now. That's good. Oh, hello. There's some wood and some, some resin in there. We'll take that. It doesn't look too thin now. I think the counter will just be just across here. Yeah, let's get stripping this floor out then. I've really done this the, the long way, you know. I should have laid the wood floor, so a um, piece of advice for you would be decide what floor you're going to go with first. Otherwise, you're going to have to do this. What I'm having to do, strip all of these out. Right, floor is done. Those plants are a bit uh, spazzy coming up there. Mm, okay, I quite like that window at the back. The shop's looking decent. Need to put the counter in. I'm going to put it just here. Um, I think I'll put it just too high. Oh, hello. Didn't want that there. I do wish there were more woods. Um, yeah, that'll do, wouldn't it? Cool. I do wish there were more variation on colour of woods. Maybe like a lighter kind of... Um, maybe a pine colour. Let's put the, sh the trim on the front here. And let's fill that little bit in there, which I've missed. Here we go. Right, that is the shop and the workshop completed. I think that's where I'm going to end the video today, guys. Thank you for watching. I think on the next episode, I'll get the windows put in the workshop. We'll get his equipment put in here. Get the carpenter summoned. And then we will start working on his living quarters, which is going to go here and be two stories up. Until then, guys, good night.